All right, with my trusted assistant, Lucas, we're gonna turn this area into an outside studio. Some basic lighting controls you can do at home by having a carport or maybe a front porch. Uh, I happen to have this retractable awning we're gonna use. We're going to attach some uh, filtered material on the side and uh, turn it into a quick outside studio. So we're going to set up in a moment and set it up and then we'll come back and we'll do a few portraits and show you how you can take basic lighting control, natural light, and turn it into a very, very beautiful studio look. Be right back. As we set up the outdoor studio, remember if you have an open window in your home with really bright sunlight coming through, Use that sheer material, it'll even out the light and make a beautiful soft light on your subject. Okay, we are in the outside studio. As you can see, this material we have up that's blocking the light, actually filtering the light, is giving us some beautiful soft light. And then that light will be bounced off of a V-flat. V-flat's a great product, one side's black, one side's white. Uh, great light control, especially in the studio and outside, providing the wind's not blowing but we have some beautiful soft light. The principle of the overhang of the awning can be done the same way with a carport or possibly a porch. We're trying to block that overhead light, get that direction of light so it gives us a beautiful direction, and then we're filtering that light with a soft material. The soft material can be a sheer material from a, a drapery shop or something soft that the light will go through just to filter that light. So in a few moments we're going to go ahead and have a beautiful subject to photograph, show you some results of the outside studio, and we'll see what we come up with. I've got my my awesome subject Isabel is going to be my model and what I've got is I've got the uh, the wind, of course the wind's picking up a little bit, this is not too good in the wind. The, uh, the soft box, a huge soft box, huge light source is here. I'm bouncing the light back onto her. As you can see, the light's really beautiful on her face. And we're gonna do some close-ups, and I'm gonna turn her a little bit this way. Um, I, I often, when I'm doing window, window light like this, I often like the light to skim across the body because it has a tendency to show more detail in the outfit they're wearing, especially like a wedding dress. But if, you, if I turn, turn the other way, babe. Keep on turning. If you turn in this way, and that light's blaring right on them, sometimes it could wash out a little bit and you wind up having too much light hitting the subject. So I'm gonna turn her shoulders this way and turn her head back this way and tilt her head just a little bit, chin up a little bit like that. And then we'll see what we come up with. All right, that's pretty cool. Chin down a little bit, okay? Good, nice. What's happening right now is I've got a lot of extra light here. So it seems like I've got almost a little too much light on the fill side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this V-flat around and throw the black side on it, maybe, or pull this back further to not put as much light on her face. Okay, we're gonna pull this white, I'm gonna angle it a little bit so it's not so much reflection because I've got a lot of light coming through and I don't want the shadow side to overpower the highlight side. What I've done now is I've pulled back the uh, V-flat a little bit, turn your head just a little bit this way, good. And I've got a little bit less light on that face right there. So let's take a look at the difference. Let's see, Ebo, that's good. Oh, that's better. Tilt your head just a little bit. There you go. Good. Awesome. Chin down a touch. Good. Okay, now what I've done is I've switched the V-flat back to black to sub do a little subtractive light on, on the shadow side and see how that comes out. All right, bring your head down a little bit, Isabel. Yes. Turn your head back to me a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Chin down a touch. Good. That's kind of nice. Can you do, do something? There you go. Good. Smiley face. So there you have it. Creating a studio environment at home. Just don't do it on a windy day because the softbox will attack you. So the principle is still the same. The overhang is blocking that overhead light and we have beautiful direction of light through this soft material filtering the bright sun. And it's a beautiful studio environment that you can create at home. Don't forget, some of the best stories happen right behind the camera. Yay! <laughs> Good. <laughs>